fourth quarter deficit to beat the Lakers 115-113 last night. Steph Curry scored eight of his game-high 26 points in the final frame. And while LeBron did have a chance to win the game in the final seconds, his late three missed the mark and Golden State escaped with their seventh win of the season. Meanwhile, the loss dropped the Lakers to 11-4, and but all four of those losses have come at Staples Center. So, Shannon, who is most to blame for the Lakers blowing the lead last night? Skip, you know I like to put wins and losses as a, as a team's win or lose the ball game. But I got two top five players, and Anthony Davis and LeBron James can't let this happen on their watch. Um, the Lakers turned the ball over 10 times in the second half and gave up 67 points. So what, in other words, what you did, you stopped defending and you started turning the basketball over. Golden State, they got back in the game. Two huge runs, 17-2, 15-3 late in the fourth quarter. The Warriors in the fourth quarter had 10 assists, zero turnovers. The Lakers had zero assists and four turnovers. That's your ball game. They got careless with the basketball. I want to, uh, Steve Kerr did something. He put Kelly Oubre on LeBron, and he picked him up 94 feet. Made him work. LeBron got fouled early, thought he got fouled. He didn't get the call, and he kind of got frustrated, and they kind of got him out of his game. And I thought he started to try to force some things. But when you have what I believe two top five players, this cannot happen. Golden State was looking, really looking to pack it up. And the Steve Kerr about to call time and says, guys, okay, give me two, three minutes. And the two or three minutes, Skip, they got the game back within, within eight. It's like, well, hold on, wait a minute. We ain't going away. And the Lakers run away again. Steve Kerr called timeout. Give me two to three more minutes. So in other words, instead of just putting them away and giving them a reason to take Steph Curry out and put those backups in, the Lakers kept letting them hang around. And then before you know it, Skip, it's an eight point, it's a six point, it's a five, it's a three. We tied. Now you're down five with a minute to go. Mm. And that's what happened. So you can't turn the ball over like the Lakers did. LeBron had, the starters had 12 of their 16 turnovers. That's unacceptable. AD and LeBron picked the wrong game to both not shoot the ball well from the floor. If I'm not mistaken, Skip, both were 6 of 16 from mm -hmm. the floor. They were. That's not good enough. So if I have to put that out, I think it's the Lakers, but I'm going to put this one on LeBron and AD. They can't allow this to happen. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to remind everyone, I'm speaking in the context of what I hear from across the table on a daily basis. LeBron James, says Shannon Sharp, is the GOAT. LeBron James is still the reigning best player on the planet, and obviously, he is the reigning champion, the best player on the championship team from last year. Okay, so given that bar set that high, I got to tell you, I know it's early. We're 11 games in. No, 15 games in. I'm sorry, 15 games in. Uh, I, was, I was looking at the, uh, the, the they, home record. Oh, yeah. The home record of the Lakers. We're 15 games in. Your man, LeBron James, has become an early season, fourth quarter disaster. And I don't know why, because he's never been this bad. But I will insist to you what I insisted before the year started. Your team still does not have a closer. Your team is really good and really powerful and fire powerful. And if it jumps out on you and buries you, you are mostly buried. Mm -hmm. But if you can hang in, hang on, and get this game down to the last four or five minutes, close. You got a real shot because the Lakers still don't have that guy who says, I got it, I'll close it. Just for the record, so far through 15 games, LeBron James is shooting 36% from the floor in the fourth quarter. He's a 50% career shooter for four quarters from Correct. the floor. Mm -hmm. From three in the fourth quarter, he is 26%. Okay, so his, his field goal shooting ranks 203rd in the NBA in the fourth quarter, and his three-point shooting ranks 146th in the fourth quarter in the NBA. Th that's just not LeBron James. His free throw shooting has been pretty good. He's just on his career average. Right. He's 71% free throws in the fourth quarter. And to his credit, I got to give him credit for this. He, w when they were down five late, he did hit his two Maybe free throws to, to cut it back to three. So I'm, I'm going to give you that. But now I'm going to give you what happened over the last five minutes of this game. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you LeBron's participation in this collapse. And it starts with 4.43 left, if we can roll the tape here. And this is the first three-point miss. He had made one early in the quarter. Not, not a bad shot, had a chance. 
And then that was a travel. He just to shoot it. Yeah. And but he, he, well, he, he was wanted KCP. Was to, he was no, he was no, upset at KCP because he passed it to him. He yeah. was wide open and passed it up. Okay. But he just sort of lost his mind and then he did it again and he just starts running with the ball and that's his second turnover in the last five minutes and then he took another three and hit nothing but backboard on that one that's pathetic and then here we go at the end of the game and he tries that that's you know that's a hard shot I'm not going to dock him critique him for that one although Draymond his business partner didn't play the hardest defense because, you know, Draymond would have been fine if he'd made it fine if he didn't. But whatever. No, he wouldn't yeah, be fine. Yeah, he would be fine. He walked <laughs> off like, we got this. No, come on. You, your heart's not in there. <laughs> your business partners. I, I don't Don't do this, Kip. Don't okay. do that. So here's the point. So over the last five minutes, LeBron James turned it over three times. Three times. And he missed one, two, well, three Well, he only threes. made one shot, so. Yeah. Okay, so he missed three threes and turned it over three times in the last five minutes. You got to close. You got to do do a little better than that. You got to clean up the three turnovers. To your point, if you just eliminated the three turnovers, you would have a much better chance. Right. One of them, he was mad at KCP. He's, it, it also Schroeder put him in a bad spot on the last shot because right. they tried to run a play and Schroeder had an edge and looked right. like. Should I go ahead and drive this right. ball? And instead, he tried to kick it away, and Caruso got it, and they called timeout. So it left LeBron 1.7 right. seconds to shoot that last right. shot. So the point is, they're looking to LeBron to close, and he's not closing. So far, so bad. And just to frame this, that they have lost all four of their games so far are at home. They've lost four home mm -hmm. games. Remember, they started out, they lost to the Clippers, Clippers. And then they lost to Portland, Portland, and then they lost to the Spurs, and they lost to Golden State. Mm -hmm. So is it possible that the team that lives in the basement is now starting to claim an own Staples Center? I don't know. That's what it's starting to feel like no. to me. Because would you believe LeBron has plummeted now to 17th in that all-important stat, PER, player efficiency rating? Mm -hmm. Guess who's one slot ahead of him at 16th? Playoff P. The most ridiculed man in all of basketball on the internet is Paul George. And he's now up to 16th in PER, and he's shooting career percentages from the field. He's 51% right now from three. You believe in that? Well, Skip, you know, LeBron's going to turn the ball over because he has the ball in his hands, and he's trying a lot of cross-court cross court passes, bounce passes from one side to the other. So, But the careless, the winter shooter, when, all, when uh, Kelly Oubre Jr. is all over shooter, why would you be so careless with the basketball like that? And that's what we've seen. We've seen a lot of that. And plus... I need more from AD. I, I, I need. I, I well, mean, I'll buy that because I, I, once again, but, but just look at the fourth quarter. Remember, they lost yeah. at home the fourth quarter to Golden State. Yes, yeah. they lost thirty-four to twenty-one. Yeah, really? Yeah, they give. Yeah. And, and where was our man Anthony Davis? Nowhere to be found. He scored three points, had three rebounds. I'm sorry, he had five rebounds, but he, he only scored three points. Well, usually he, he, he made one out of two shots. Well, usually you'd, you'd want him to, to shoot five right. or six shots, right, right? in the fourth yes. quarter? Yes. Okay. We, they, they, I mean, look, Skip, what happened is that you let a team hang around. Uh, that's a team that you go ahead and bury and you be done with it. There's no way LeBron James should have played 38 minutes last night. He's been averaging about 30 minutes over the last four or five games. Because they take care of business, he gets up out of town. But they dilly dally around, and here you are at 38 minutes. Yep. So usually, like the Clippers did blow a lead in a game up at Golden State yeah. to Steph when Steph went but out yeah, of his Steph mind. Yeah, Steph went crazy. Threes. Steph wasn't that crazy last okay. night. He had that big, one big three. He made three of 12 threes last night. Oubre, who spent most of his energy on the other end, made two out of eight because he's just been a disaster from three right. so far. Well, they shot... 32% as a team from three. Well, that won't beat anybody, no. especially on the road. But the Lakers shot 31% from three. And Skip, they crushed, they was plus 18 in rebounding. Mm. But you can't let Golden State shoot 50% from the floor with that small team. Mm. Maybe like LeBron and company just took the night off. They mm. thought it was going to be a cakewalk night, a breather. It was Dr. King's birthday. Maybe. It wasn't for them to, they didn't get the night off. Okay. The, most people got, All right. government workers got the day off. NBA and entertainers did not get the day off. Okay. Uh, you got a problem in the fourth quarter and you better Wait, that, We ain't got no problem. Yeah, you do. Let me ask you a question. Well, who was the closer last year? Because that was the same team. AD and LeBron closed last year. Who was the closer that's not there this year? Rondo? 
Was Rondo the closer? Did they? Yes, he was actually. Oh Did God. they ever get pushed to the brink in fourth quarter? Yes. Huh. 